Hi everyone. We're going to plot points in a relation and write an equation in functional notation for the relation. So it's basically we're finding patterns here. And don't forget your x is your domain and your y is your range. So what we want to do is find the change in the domain and the range. And what we're going to do is kind of look at this and see what do I have to get for, to get from negative 4 to negative 8. So I have to add a negative 4. How do I get from negative 8 to negative 12? Well, I add another negative 4. And it continues to be the same. So my change in my domain is negative 4. Now for my range, when I do this, I'm adding 1. And when you form an equation, we're going to be talking about slope. And what we want to look at is uh, the change in the range, which in this case is 1, over the change in the domain, which is negative 4. And we'll talk about this in the next video, but that means our slope is negative 1 over 4. We're going to look at the graph in a minute. So the function notation would be f of x equals negative 1 fourth and I shouldn't write it that way. Let me make it straighter. Okay, negative 1 fourth x. Because basically when you plug in x and you multiply by um, if I test some of these points here, I'm going to plug in um, f of negative 4. When I plug that in, you always need to check. When you multiply these two, you get 1. And that's what we have. And you continue on and just check to see that your equation works. And in this case, it does work. Go ahead and try uh, plugging in negative 8 and negative 12, and you'll find that works. Okay. The next one we're going to do is, so, uh, I plotted it here. So basically what we're going to do is, our equation is f of x equals negative 1 over 4. And I basically just plotted some the, some points here. And what I'm doing is I'm going um, up 1 over 4. Up 1 over 4. Up 1 over 4. And I'm going up 1 but to the left 4. Up 1 to the left 4. Up 1 to the left 4. Okay, and that gives me my linear equation. And I'm going to try to do this without a ruler. There's your line. And you get the idea. It's supposed to go through those points. So basically, that's the slope. And I can take this back out. And you have your graph right there. Something like that. So this is f of x equals negative one-fourth x. Okay, the next one we have is a little more complicated. I'm going to check out my differences. Here my difference is plus one. However, here it's plus two. Here it's plus one again. And here it's plus one. Here it's plus three. In my range, we have minus two, minus four, minus 2, minus 2 again, and minus um, 6. So what I want to do is the change of y. So change in my range. I'm going to write my changes like that. That's called delta. My change in y over my change of x. And I'm going to see if it's consistent. So I'm going to take these two pieces here. And my change from 8 to 6 in y was negative 2. 
my change in y was 1. This equals negative 2. Now let's check something that's different. Let's check this one with this. This one, my change in y was negative 4. And my change in my x was 2. Well, that also ne equals negative 2. So we have a consistency here. Now let's check this one. This is the one that's also different. My change in my y was negative 6. My change in my x was 3. Well, that also equals negative 2. So basically I have y equals negative 2x because that's your slope. This equals your slope, and we're going to call that m. However, when I rewrite the table, I write this out, and I'm going to put in my negative 2, so I'm going to multiply my x right up here by negative 2, because that's what I'm saying the equation is. And I get negative 2, um, negative 8, negative 10, negative 12, and negative 18. Now what I notice with my equation here, for me to go from this x to this y, I'm going to have to make an adjustment. And what I'm going to do is have to add um, 10. Because the difference between these, I have to add 10. To get from negative 2 to 8, I have to add 10. To get from negative 8 to 2, I have to add 10. To get from negative 10 to 0, I have to add 10. So my new equation is going to be y equals negative 2x plus 10. Now, since this is supposed to be function notation, I just changed my y to f of x. No big deal. It's just using function notation, and you're good to go. We're going to talk more in depth about this in the next video, um, how to find this more algebraically. Okay, and I went ahead and graphed. I just graphed two points. I graphed this one. I graphed 1, 8. I know it's linear because my slope was consistent here. And I graphed uh, this one because that was easy to graph, 5, 0. And I didn't worry about the, any of the other points. If I have two points, I can make a line. So I'm going to draw a line here. Hopefully it's kind of straightish, something like that. So that's my equation in function notation as f of x equals negative 2x plus 10.